Employers love experience. Post-secondary education is essential for higher earnings. But how can you do both? Internships. They get you both education and experience. Internships can really improve one's employability. So a piece of advice, intern early and intern often. Hello, I'm Inas and I welcome you to this session. Sentiment analysis of movie reviews under the guidance of Professor Rizwan Sheikh. This is the table of contents about the company for which I interned. Introduction to sentiment analysis, the objective of my project, tasks that were assigned to us, approaches to sentiment analysis, contributions, how does it work, my project insights, the challenges that I faced, advantages and disadvantages, summary of what we have learnt and references. So I worked as an intern in iGeeks Technologies Bangalore. It is located in the heart of Malleshwaram and it is a complete IT service and solutions company established by software and business professionals in the year 2009 who wanted to make a difference in the IT solutions industry. It has got an on-site development center in Bangalore. It focuses on optimizing and aligning their clients IT initiatives with business strategies and it has a proven record of helping clients market faster and at reduced costs. Let's see the definition of sentiment analysis. It is the interpretation and classification of emotions that could be positive, negative or neutral within a given text data using text analysis techniques. Sentiment analysis allows businesses to identify customer sentiments towards products or services in online conversations and feedbacks. Now, you know, sentiment analysis is the process of determining feelings from a given text. We humans are pretty good at this. Looking at this tweet, I can immediately know that it is positive. You can feel how much happy and satisfied the viewer is. Around the world, machine learning is adopted to do this automatically. It is useful to get a person's insights towards a particular product or service. Here, movies. Like you all know, the success of a movie directly depends on the viewers watching the movie. So if the viewer likes the movie, it's a success. If not, you know it. Well, now how will you know whether the movie was liked or not? On the internet, of course. For that, you will need to analyze the reviews given by them. And one of the key attributes to this is to analyze the sentiment of it. And this is where sentiment analysis comes into picture. We are going to use machine learning to understand these sentiments or emotions or opinions. Emotions or sentiments are hard to express, let alone understand. And this is where AI can help us. AI could understand better than humans do by analyzing particular sentiments to help produce optimal decisions for objectives that we specify. In this project, we aim to use sentiment analysis on a set of movie reviews given by reviewers and try to understand their overall reaction towards the movie, whether they liked the movie or disliked it. We are going to utilize the relationships of the words in the review to predict the overall sentiment of it. Being able to know how properly data is to be extracted and how to extract insights is actually a primary skill for a data scientist. So now our task is to do some research about how viewers feel about a specific movie. The most general way to do this is to go on Twitter and search for mentions of that movie. We could just manually observe the data ourselves to get a feel about how the movie is by endlessly scrolling through the tweets. But we are going to implement a more thorough accurate, precise and scalable data-driven technique by doing what is known as sentiment analysis. It is also known as opinion mining and this is a data science process that focuses on building systems that can identify and extract opinions within texts. We can choose to perform sentiment analysis on any level at the document level, sentence level or sub-sentence level that is the word level. Okay. 
so there are generally two main approaches to sentiment analysis the first one is the lexicon based approach or the rule based approach and here we will first want to split some given texts into smaller tokens this process is called tokenization then we count the number of times each word shows up and this tally is known as the bag of words model next we look up the subjectivity of each word from an existing lexicon which is a database for emotional values pre-recorded by researchers around the world and once we have those values we can compute the overall subjectivity of our text the other approach uses machine learning of course this is the automated approach if we have a corpus of say tweets that are labeled either positive or negative we can train our classifier on it and given a new tweet it will be able to classify as either positive or negative so which approach is better i'll tell you using a lexicon is easier but the learning approach is more accurate there are subtleties in language that lexicons are bad at like sarcasm but neural networks can understand these subtleties because they don't analyze text as face value they create abstract representations of what they can learn so these are called or these features are called vectors and we can use them to classify our data during this internship program we built a sentiment analysis project in python using a flask module that will identify whether a movie is positive or negative based on the text in the review tweet by the way flask is a framework written in python for building web interfaces we're going to use twitter as our data here a data source here so it is rich with reviews and with data of course but in order to extract tweets for analysis we need to access our twitter account and create an application from apps.twitter.com from this app that we are creating we are going to have four variables the consumer key the consumer secret access token and access token secret which will be used to access the twitter api we can use the tweepy library to extract a list of tweets that mentions the movie as the keyword before getting into the project let's see how it actually works so this is a simple pipeline we have the tweets downloaded and stored in a csv file we parse through the data we preprocess or clean the tweets i'll explain it in the later slides we'll extract the features necessary for classification here we are using the svm with sgd classifier and finally the output label of the tweet is found these are the steps involved the first step is accumulation actually this is like the base step before the next three steps this is where the data is collected for training and testing the next process uh, involves tokenization preprocessing cleaning and classification so let's consider a very small example here the movie was amazing you can see and by just looking at it you can make out that this is a positive tweet now the very first step would be the step of tokenization now what is this tokenization it is to split a sentence into a sequence of text or a set of words known as tokens now each word is a token here the movie was amazing exclamation so these are the tokens the second step would be to clean the data and by cleaning the data i mean um, to remove unwanted characters like punctuations stop words urls mentions etc so these are omitted or eliminated as they do not add any value to our analysis part so here let's first eliminate the exclamation mark next we'll remove remove words such as this the was is a etc 
as they mean nothing to us again. These are called the stop words. You can remove URLs and mentions from a tweet as well by using the re library. It is used to work with regular expressions, re. These are a sequence of characters that define a search pattern. Usually it's used by string searching algorithms and replacements. The next step is this step of classification where we're just left with two words, movie and amazing. Now our task is to classify this into a positive or negative tweet. You can see the sentiment of movie is neutral. So the score would be zero and the sentiment of amazing is positive. So the score would be one. The total score would be zero plus one. That is one positive. My project insights is just a small piece of code here. We'll first get our training and testing data and a set of labeled reviews from an existing available data set on the internet that is the large movies review data set. We started off by importing certain libraries that you can install using the pip install command. We'll import the operating system module first to help us reform some functions. Next, we import the Flask module for the web application interface. Next, we'll import a scikit-learn module, which is a machine learning library in Python that has a fast learning curve. Joblib provides easy and parallel computing for pipelining in Python. NLDK will be used to remove unnecessary characters from our dataset. And uh, by the way, NLTK is Natural Language Toolkit Library. Pandas help us to read our data CSV files by splitting the data into data frames. NumPy is another Python library used for working with arrays. Now the first step here is to read the data set. Once we have read the data, step two is to clean it here using NLTK. That means we need to ensure that we remove all the characters and words that are insignificant to us. Step three is to create a bag of words. We'll use the count vectorizer object in the scikit-learn package to create such numerical representations for words. Step four is to create the classifier. Actually, a classifier is a machine learning model that will be used to classify whether a piece of text is positive or negative. In this project, we have used the support vector machine with SGD classifier. It is a machine learning model that uses stochastic gradient descent for a two group classification problem like the sentiment analysis. After feeding sets of labeled data for each category, they are able to categorize tweets into either positive or negative. Now it's time we apply this model on our data. Once we have the features for our data, we can move on to the last step. The last step in our program is to correctly classify the reviews into positive or negative tweets. We'll then print it on the web page using the Flask framework. So that's it. Simple. Let's run the application and see what results we have. This is the home page where we enter the movie name and we write a review for it. We'll write a simple review. Okay, so one of the best movies ever. That's positive. Let's enter another review. Totally not worth watching and it's negative. Amazing. It's performing sentiment analysis like a pro. These are some of the challenges that I faced during the development of this project. Lack of knowledge. They were out of vocabulary words. There were uh, grammatical mistakes in the words used. There were errors in the user generated content. That is, uh, they used different slangs and spellings and whatnot. And language ambiguity. Phrases were used and it made a little issues in the project. Advantages and disadvantages. Automatic tools and approaches 
could accelerate the reviewing process, of course, because that is automated and uh, we are much slower actually. And uh, they require no human examination. The disadvantages would be that there are a lot of slangs and misspelled words which reduce the accuracy. Sarcasm is when people mean one thing but they they put it in different forms so that still remains an unsolved problem what we've learned sentiment analysis is a technique that involves building systems that can identify and extract opinions from text it can be rule based or lexicon based with matching words and sentiment scores from a lexicon or dictionary or it can be automated where machine learning is used to train algorithms that will predict a tweet's sentiment and finally we build a sentiment analyzer using python and its libraries and front end using a flask framework it finds some of the coolest applications in the industry nowadays these are the references Now, before we conclude, you must know that sentiment analysis is still an evolving project. There are a lot of slangs and phrases and misspelled words that are left unhandled. But we can and we will by taking into account all such scenarios and by building even more powerful algorithms. Thank you.